Thank you, Joma. Hello and welcome to Sports News. National Honor 23 coach Imama Amapakabo has received important boost for Tuesday's must-win Honor 23 Africa Cup of Nations clash against Zambia with the arrival of team captain Azubike Okechuku and star forward Taiwo Awuni. The absence of the duo was greatly felt in the opening game of Group B that the defending champions lost by a lone goal to Cote d'Ivoire on Saturday. An excited coach Amapakabo is confident the arrival will spur his squad to a better performance against the Zambians. Nigeria must pick maximum points to return to contention for a place in the semifinals of the competition. Only the top three finishes of the 23 AFCON will qualify to fly Africa's flag at the Men's Olympic Football Tournament in Japan next year. Meanwhile, the Super Eagles of Nigeria this evening began training in Uyo, the Kwaibom State Capital, ahead of Wednesday's 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against the Squirrels of Benin Republic. Fourteen Super Eagles players were involved in the evening training session with nine players expected on Tuesday morning. The technical advisor of the team has called up Eimba FC defender Ifai Anamina to replace Russia-based Brian Idou, whose international passport is not ready for him to travel to Nigeria for the encounter. After Wednesday's game, the Super Eagles will travel to Maseru, for Sunday's clash with Lesotho. In tennis, Stefanos Tsitsipas has produced a scintillating performance to beat rival Daniel Medvedev for the first time in a battle of two ATP finals debutants at the O2 Arena. Medvedev had won all five encounters with Tsitsipas before the Greek finally came out on top this evening, winning 7-6-6-4. Tsitsipas did not offer his opponent losing his U.S. Open finalist a single break point during their one-hour, 43-minute encounter. Yeah. That's it on Sports News. Ijama, back to you. Thanks, Olumide. On entertainment news tonight, African Movie Academy Awards celebrates Kemia Detiba's King of Boys as director makes special announcement. Ogechuku Osei has more. Well, thank you so much. And here are your trending entertainment stories. The 2019 Best Nigerian Film as a judge by the African Movie Academy Awards, Ama, as King of Boys, is set to have a sequel. Her the director of the movie, Kemi Adetiba, while still keeping details on the wrap, announced that the works has already begun on the movie, which stars Shola Shubawale, rapper Reminis, Ilbis, and many others. God was punishment in a person. The main thing now is KOB2, the sequel. Um, it's, it's happening. Um, Kito won't be in it because Kito is dead. Unless we bring him back to life. Hey, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, but um, yeah, so that is the, the KOB sequel right now. And then we actually have a series. We're branching out um, into a series for the film. So very, very much excited about that. Really, there's so much to come, so much to come. This is our own Marvel, this is our own Avengers, you know? These are, these are the characters, these are our own Avengers, and I think each person can branch out into their own um, uh, different project. But finally, Nigerian television series about a Nigerian family living in the UK, Meet the Adebanjos, has been adopted on the global streaming platform, Netflix. Now, the series, which is already airing on some digital and terrestrial platform in Nigeria since 2012, does Wale Ojo as the lead character. But that's all for tonight. The News of 10 continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Ogi Chuku. And the main news again. The Court of Appeals sitting in Ibadan today upheld the elections of Governor Dakwa Biodun of Ogun and Shei Makinde of Oyo State, while another appeal court sitting in Abuja reserved judgment in the appeal against the election of Imo State Governor Emeka Ehedioha. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Onyato. You have a good night. <laughs>